hi guys welcome back again to my channel i hope you all are doing well so guys in this video i'm going to show you how to make a imolu and a basic fuel which is rice and beans and the black chili pepper that we have here in togo so please i would like you to watch until the end and learn also how to make this yummy recipe so we are going to start by cooking our ebesi fion so we we'll go and we we'll cook our meat first inside the pot i added uh, some grounded pepper ginger and garlic inside so here i'm going to add just little water to let it get done very well so while it's on fire we have to fry our pepper that is oil i added oil in the pot and then i put my pepper inside so we are going to leave the pepper to turn to black but not too black because if it's too black it's going to get burned and to be bitter so after some like maybe one or two minutes then we bring it out from the oil like the way i'm doing right now after bringing it out you are going to pound it yes So after bringing it out from the oil, we are going to start by pounding it with uh, our fish. Here, inside there we have fish, onion, ginger, black pepper, and calabash nut make. So we are going to start by pounding them while we'll be frying our meat. Yes, the meat is done, so we are going to fry it. I added the oil that I used for the pepper earlier and with some extra oil so we'll be frying it while pounding the pepper In the mortar, we are going to add our salt and then we start pounding it to add some seasoning cube. It depends on uh, the quantity of the stew you are going to do. So you can add two if you if the stew is big, my is smaller, so I just add one. So we are going to add our black pepper and the calabash nutmeg into the mortar. You can also blend this if you have blender. Now we are going to add our ginger into the pot, into the mortar, sorry. Now we add our fish head. So we have to come back and check our our meat to see if it started burning. Now it's not burning, so you have to burn it, then leave it again for some minutes on fire before we bring it out from the oil. I like frying my meat very dry before bringing it out, but there are some people that don't like it to be too dry, so it's optional. You can bring it, but this shito you can also do it without meat. This recipe is just my recipe, or will I say, I just put the meat inside if not you don't put meat it's just fish crayfish dry fish and the pepper so now our meat is done so we are going to bring it out from the oil then start this stew so 
we have added our onion into the mortar now so we pan this for a while before adding the fish inside yes here is the fish so we, are, we just added the fish and uh, after this fish we are not going to add anything again So we are still going to use our fish or the meat or the meat the oil that we use to fry the meat i added uh, some onion inside so i will just leave it to get hot then we add our tomato i'm going to use the tomato for this recipe but this the tomato is optional After stirring it for a while, then we are going to add our pepper that we already pan into the stew or into the tomato on fire, like the way I'm doing it now. So after this, you just rinse the mortar, then add the water to the stew on fire. Now we are going to add our stock meat into the stew. Yes. So, but if you are not using meat, I don't think this is important. You don't need this. Here, yeah, you just need the tomato and the pepper. At this point you don't need to leave your stew without stirring it so you have to be turning it every minute so it doesn't get burned now here you have to check the text if it's okay if it's tasting good then you add your meat into it after adding your meat you can see check if the text is okay for you if it's okay then your stew is ready like the way mine is okay now it's really really sweet and delicious i would like you to try but sorry i can't i don't know how to do that so now we are going to cook our ayimolu which is rice and beans we are using you can use black also if you want i'm using the red beans here is the potash that you are going to use and we are using the red one so i usually put my inside water so that it doesn't uh, there is some that used to be under and I don't want it so I have to put inside water then take the water add the water to the beans on fire so after adding the, the or water you can see that the the sand that I was talking about is there yeah so that is the sand if you put it inside your food you are not going to enjoy it so I don't like eating sand in my food so after some while the beans is almost like half done so i have to add water then wait for the rice 
wait for the water to get boiled and i've already washed my rice so we just wait for the water after the water have boiled i'll add the rice into the water then wait for it to get done After adding the rice, you have to add salt to the water. Then you check if the water or the salt is okay in the water. And then you stir it and leave it for to boil. You cover it and leave it to boil. here it is and my is done and just remaining the water to dry you see i have some water so i have to wait for the water to dry then our rice is ready so here we are our stew and rice is ready and uh, our ayumoru is ready so please guys come and join me let's enjoy this uh, um, this delicious meal together share the video subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and i will see you in my next video thank you so much bye